for the $83 billion, they say school choice is underfunded. That is how you actually fund school choices. Take the remainder of that $83 billion, you would have a surplus, $1.6 billion per state in this union to actually restore choice that parents have in where they send their kids to school. That's a big part of this as well. Civic education needs to be part of this. So when you combine school choice with civic education, civic education can be a two-sided coin if you actually have the federal government controlling it because that lends itself to capture. Right? Then you can just get wokeness through the vehicle of civic education. I don't want, I don't, I'm not going to be the guy who creates that in the name of doing good. You've got to be practical. But if it's against the backdrop of school choice and parental transparency, my view is if you can have a camera in the airports, you can have a camera in classrooms and schools in this country, if you can teach it in the curriculum, put that curriculum online, combine transparency and choice, then you make civic education a part of it. Parents can see for themselves whether there's toxicity flowing into the classroom. If not, take the teachers' unions out of it. I don't think there should be any public teachers' employee unions. No special protection for public employee teachers at all. We you think about it, you're unionizing against the very public you're supposed to represent, forget about that. Then you have a system where we can actually revive civic education in this country, teach kids to be proud of this country rather than to be ashamed of it.